Civic works on protection of civilians. We try to influence governments and militaries on ways to reduce the impact of war on civilians. If you're looking to mitigate the effects of harm on civilians in a conflict zone, doesn't it make sense to talk to the people who are actually involved in the fighting? Civic is able to support the militaries in their mission to also protect civilians and to adhere to the applicable legal norms. We see some soldiers weeping because they discover that these civilians were going through traumatic experiences and they have not had an opportunity to interact with these civilians. Civic has created the Civilian Harm Mitigation Cycle and it's a very effective tool for security actors to be proactive to dealing with civilian harm instead of being reactive to civilian harm after it happens. What are the different levels in preparing an operation? What are the lessons learned? How can lessons learned be integrated into training cycles? So we have a whole plethora of, of activities that are to inform militaries and that really are supposed to be sustainable. So when civic is not there anymore, that militaries can continue working on it independently. It's not a naming and shaming approach. It's a very pragmatic approach. And I think that also sets civic apart from other organizations because we are offering a solution.